Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, I just got done watching um, today's episode of Ahsoka, episode 5, and my- dude. Thank you, Lucasfilm and Disney, for this episode. We- oh my god. Before I even say anything, I'm just going to get the rating out of the way. This episode is a 5 out of 5, man. 5 out of 5. This was this was a little better, in my opinion, than even last week's episode. If you aren't following me on Twitter, you know why I made that post, if you have not seen this episode yet. But, oh my god, dude. This episode was better than last week's. And the last week's was amazing as well, don't get me wrong. This episode, though, oh my god. This episode had what I have been asking and what I have been wishing that we get this certain thing that I'm going to be talking about in a minute in this show. Now, oh my God, I, my, my mind is all over the place after watching this episode. We get so many great callbacks, so many great flashbacks that... Oh my god, like, I was just so happy when I saw this, like, saw some of these certain flashbacks. To see them in live action was something, man. Oh my god. So, um, without wasting any more time, let's just get, I'm just gonna get into what happened in this episode, um, and then that's gonna be it. So, uh, the episode starts off with Hera and um, a squadron of X-Wing pilots searching for Ahsoka and Sabine. Um, Hera finds, um, the droid. I, I keep forgetting his name. His name slips my mind so quick. Like I, I'll hear his name and then it slips through my mind again. Like it, it's so annoying. So, um, Hera finds the droid, uh, Soka's droid. He's holding, uh, Sabine's helmet sad, um, because he knows that like Ahsoka and Sabine weren't together when they were fighting Balin, which I finally know his name now, and they were fighting Balin and um, and trying to get the map. Um, so he knows that they split up. And so then we, we see Ahsoka again. We leave off from what happened in the last episode with um, Ahsoka and Anakin uh, reuniting. And so we get that. We get we kind of pick up on that. And um, Anakin reveals that, that, yeah, that, yeah, Ahsoka, you lost. And uh, so she thinks that she's dead, but she's just in a you know, whole in, in that different realm. Um, so that way she can live again, should she succeed in the training that Anakin is going to continue teaching her. So then Ahsoka denies it and says that like it's too late for me. But it's, but Anakin just kind of reasons with her, and he's like, "No, it's never too late, no matter how old you are, to train and be a successful Jedi." So. We see training, and the next thing you know, like before the training, actually, Anakin tells her that your your training is to either live or die. And so Ahsoka says that she doesn't want to fight Anakin, but Anakin's like, nah, we, we're fighting. So they fight, like, so quick. They're already fighting. I'm like, damn, man. So so they're fighting, and then next thing you know, um, as they're fighting, Anakin destroys the floor. Ahsoka falls, and she lands in some weird ran weird desert like place i didn't know what the hell that was and th then we see clones running and so the first thing i think of when i saw clones i'm like i'm like whoa whoa i'm like oh my oh my god is this is are we in the clone wars right now are we seeing a flashback of the of her in the clone wars or just the clone wars and specifically but then next thing you know we see anakin running and we we actually see the, the uniform that Anakin wore in the beginning of the Clone Wars TV show and in the and in the movie, um, he wears that in live, but it's in live action. And it's Hayden Christensen wearing that suit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, dude, I had so many mixed emo. I'm like, mixed emotions, man. Just I was hit in every single way. I got so many just. That as someone who's seen the Clone Wars and that absolutely loves that show, that oh my god, seeing that flashback 
of them and the Clone Wars. We find out that this is one of the one of their first missions together, um, fighting the Separatist armies um, on on a planet. I don't I I don't know what planet that was on, but dude, that was that was amazing though. That was something. I'm happy we saw that though too. Even in live action, man. Oh my god, to see it in live action for the first time ever too was something else as well, man. And, oh my dude, like we get we get another flashback too. But before we get there, in this flashback, Ahsoka is still present. Ahsoka, she's reliving events, certain some events we haven't seen before, with that this being one of them. Um, but then after this battle or whatever, um, Ahsoka is like looking at, uh, look at all the wounded and, uh, dead clones. And, uh, by the way, um, in some of these flashbacks, we actually see Rex. We see Rex in some of these flashbacks and it's like in it as a little, in the background of, of this first one. And in the second one, we see him having a brief couple second, like conversation with Ahsoka, which was I was I was like damn man like oh this, this oh my god like this this I can't stop saying it this episode was fucking amazing like oh my god um so then in this in this current flashback that the first flashback that Ahsoka has she and Anakin are talking um they basically they're basically having a little argument about the war about the battle that they just had and Anakin's like kind of making joke kind of like kind of like joking around i guess um you, you could say um so yeah man um there was that then um we find out that um that ahsoka like really like didn't what doesn't want to fight and um she and she's really like questioning about questioning everything about what's going on questioning the war questioning just her being a jedi because this was because she because she she remembers that part of her training was just being keepers of the peace, not being soldiers. But then we find out that, yeah, because of this war, that technically the Jedi are now soldiers as well, just as much as the clones are. So they got into an argument about that. And then and then they're they're both running and uh, because the separatists are the separatists are coming back, launching a counterattack on them. And so they're fighting right now. They're they're fight they fight back. Um Anakin and Ahsoka and the clones are running, running at them. And flashback kind of ends there. Uh, then we go back to what's going on in the, currently, like in the in the in the in the real world. Um, Hera um, is wanting to know um, where Ahsoka is, and but then her son comes out, uh, Jason. Uh, that that's his name as well. Um, he. He 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 hears something in the water. He tells us he tells his mom Hera that that he hears something, and I didn't at first I didn't know what what to really think. Like I'm like I'm like well what what is what is he hearing? So then, um, we find out that he hears like and th this is before the flashback too. Actually, now that now that I'm thinking about it, yeah that's that. so this scene happens before, right before Ahsoka has the flashback, and Jason is basically revealing that he hears lightsabers clashing. And so like when he heard that, that basically told you right there that, yeah, he's got, because Kanan is, is his father. He's got that saying, he's got, he's got some of that, those Jedi. Um, he's got a little bit of Jedi in him. So we could, so it, we could see him being trained to, uh, to become a Jedi, just like his father Kanan. So that's going to be cool. If that is the case. Um, so then what happens next is, and after that, Hera, um, Hera kind of realizes that like, that like, oh yeah, um, my son is, uh, my son's got a little bit of Kanan in him and is, uh, is got Jedi, some parts of a Jedi in him, uh, because he can hear, uh, lightsabers literally clashing and she can't hear it, obviously. Uh, so then um, she tells all the X-wing pilots to just uh, to go be to go over the water and detect and see if they can like hear or detect anything to find out where Ahsoka could be. And um, well, they don't know this at the time, but they think Sabine is with her, but clearly not, um, as we know from the last episode. Uh, so then what happens is after that we get we see that flashback like I just explained, and then 
there's a whole thing that goes on with the um, the whole um, the whole the new republic basically coming to the planet to to um, to try and uh, know what's going on and to order and keep, they keep ordering Hera to return back to uh, back to base, but she obviously she didn't listen and so that's why she's there because she's still not listening because she still doesn't know where Ahsoka and Sabine are. So then a, a little bit after that. Uh, we see a little more of that in the in this episode, but after that specific part, um, we then see Ahsoka um, in in a, in another flashback with clones, and they're 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 fighting something. And we find and when I noticed that they're fighting fucking Mandalorians, and and they immediately and they, one of them has like some of Maul's little horns on on the top of his helmet. I'm like the first thing that came to me was oh, I was like, dude, this is the siege of Mandalore, and I was correct. Not only because like some of the clones that I was seeing that had Ahsoka's like Ahsoka's um, facial paint face on their helmets, um, but also, um, and this is the one I was talking about where where Rex and Ahsoka have a quick moment. Ahsoka makes well, Rex makes a quick little cameo. He did in the last flashback too, but in this one, he not only had a little cameo, but he actually talked to Ahsoka for a minute. And so then what happened is uh, after that, after the little talk, and uh, we see Anakin again. And uh, and we in this basically kind of revealing um, what we are, what we remember from the Clone Wars show is that the Siege of Mandalore obviously take, takes place after Ahsoka and Anakin kind of crossed their separate went their separate ways and they said their goodbye um so yeah that's what happened there with that and then um and then next thing you know ahsoka then tells anakin that that he that he uh, I, for I forgot what she said to him but but she said something about like about about like you about like you're about like you are the reason why everything fell or, or something like that and then anakin was just like your lesson is to either live or die so then he kind of walks around and then he takes out his lightsaber and then the lightsaber he has is red i'm like oh shit so he's turned he's full-on vader now vader because vader, he like full personality and shit like he's turned into vader now not in the suit we don't see him in the suit well in, in the previous flashback, like before that flashback ended, as Anakin's kind of running to the Separatist counterattack, we see him like in the in the Vader suit for like a quick second, and then he reverts back to Anakin. I'm like, damn! And we see that a couple, like one other time in this episode. I'm like, oh shit, man! So then what happens is there is Anakin and Ahsoka are fighting, and um. As they're as they're fighting, um, Anakin kicks Ahsoka back into the world within worlds, and then Anakin walks out and he turns into Vader again, but then reverts back to Anakin. But he's still, but he's still acting like Vader. He's going full Sith mode, red lightsaber in hand, and everything. And so they're still fighting, and then next thing you know, eh, Ahsoka is able to act, is able to get the upper hand in a des in an act of desperation and grab his red lightsaber. And, uh, and is about to kill him, but then is like, but then is like, no, I, I will not kill you. So then she throws the lightsaber like off the off the little bridge that they're on, and then Anakin looks at Ahsoka and says like, you passed. There is hope for you yet. And then next thing you know, think something starts happening as uh, Ahsoka looks away, and then Anakin's gone. <laughs> and so uh, this is probably gonna be the only time that we see Anakin in the show. But if this is if this was the only time we saw it, we see Anakin in the show. Bravo, bravo to Hayden Christensen, man. His his appearance um, as the one and only Anakin Skywalker, because like let's because he only plays one character in Star Wars, and that's Anakin and Darth Vader. But yeah, man, like all of those scenes with Anakin. And all the scenes with Ahsoka too, man. In this episode, when she was in, in the world within worlds, ten out ten out of ten scenes. Oh my god, amazing, 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 amazing. I cannot express that enough. 
this was this was a damn good episode. This was not even good, not even really good. Incredible. I can't stop saying that because the, like, as a Clone Wars fan, this ep- this episode had everything I I wanted. And just as a fan of Star Wars too, this episode gave me what I have wanted to see in this show since this was announced. And they delivered. So, yeah. So, Anakin disappears. Soga's looking around. The next thing you know, uh, the water is starting to come back up. And she's un- she, We find out she she's back in the real world now. She's underwater. Um, Hera and the X-Wing pilots are able to find her. They're able to get her on the, on the, onto the ghost ship. And then she wakes up in there, finding out that that she was so she was out for one for for a while. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, then what happens is um, Ahsoka comes out, talks to Jason, and finds out from her droid that it was him that basically that basically knew that Ahsoka was still there, and um, then was how the X Wing pilots knew she was underwater. Uh, so she comes over, thanks him. Uh, and then next thing you know, um, Hera and Ahsoka talk in private and, um, Ahsoka doesn't know where Sabine is. So, so basically then Ahsoka, um, grabs, uh, the remnants of, um, of the map that was destroyed in the last episode by Balin after he and Morgan were able to find out where Thrawn's location is. So... Ahsoka grabs the map and is able to find out um, using the Force to know basically what happened to Sabine. And she basically comes to the conclusion that when they left the planet, Sabine went with them. So, yeah, man. I Like, oh my god, dude. Like, this episode, like, man, oh man, dude. Like, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm still kind of rambling about how incredible this episode was. I apologize, but yeah, man. Uh, so it's basically, Ahsoka finds out where Sabine is, and so they well, they she doesn't know where Sabine is. So in order to know where she went, uh, she looks up at one of the space whales. Um, I, I keep I keep I keep forgetting what they're called, but uh, she looks up at one of the one of those space whales, and um, she basically comes up with an idea that oh yeah, uh, she's gonna ride one of them uh, to uh, to 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 see if they know where. Um, where Sabine went with Balin and Morgan. So, so the, so yeah, Ahsoka goes up, goes up in the clouds and talks to, uh, one of the, uh, the big space, the bigger, the biggest space whale in the clouds. And, uh, basically then in order to know where they're going to go, um ahsoka and uh, her her droid in their ship go into the mouth of the whale so i'm I'm like i'm like i'm like oh wow um okay um <laughs> so they're in the mouth of the whale the, the whale closes its mouth and they're going up the, the new republic fleet arrives to try and uh, tell to try and like order hera and all the x-wing pilots and ahsoka to return to the new republic and to be questioned at Coruscant so yeah man um that's what happens so then the space will start coming up into space and then the, the rebel fleet like basically get told to move out of the way so they move they all move out of the way and um Ahsoka and Hera are saying they're saying their goodbyes and saying uh, like that Ahsoka saying that she will return and then next thing you know all the whales go into hyperspace and the whale that Ahsoka and her droid are in um, goes into hyperspace and goes to wherever they're going to go. Um, not knowing if the, the whales are going to go to the right location, but they're going to start going <laughs> to every to every single planet to find out um, where exactly Sabine went with Balin and Morgan and where exactly Thrawn's location is, because that's clearly where they went, to wherever Thrawn went to, um, or wherever Thrawn has been uh, since, like, since before the empire fell so so yeah man um that's how the episode ends um like i said incredible episode those flashback scenes man and the scenes between the moments between ahsoka and anakin and the world between worlds and the moments they had in the flashbacks 
were were amazing, man. Like, oh my god. Um. So yeah, like I said earlier in the video, five out of five episode. Better than last week's. Last week's was still really good, but not as good as this. Not as good as this episode was. Oh my god. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about this episode. Um, post comments down below though. Uh, what do you guys think about this episode though? Did you like it? Did you think it was not not as good as the last week's? Um, or did you think this was bad? If you thought this was bad, then uh, man, I uh, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so <laughs> um, also, if you guys enjoyed this video though, make sure you guys hit the like button uh, and subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of Star Wars or a fan of Ahsoka specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also come follow me over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!